Hello, my name is Alex and welcome to my new tutorial channel. In this episode I'm gonna show you how to install Home Assistant on a Hyper-V virtual machine. So let's get started. I'm gonna open a Chrome browser and just Google Home Assistant. On the first web page just click Home Assistant, get started and on the left side you're gonna find Windows. In our case we're gonna use Hyper-V. Just click on it and it's gonna start downloading. I already done that to spare some time. Click on the downloads folder, open the folder and if you see, you're gonna notice it's a zip file. You just right click on it and extract all. Then you're gonna get this file. This is the file we want later when we create the virtual machine. Just remember where it's saved. Now we just open a Hyper-V manager. And before creating the virtual machine, we need to do an important step. We need to create the network card for the virtual machine to work properly. So on the right side, you have the virtual switch manager. Click new virtual network switch, leave it on external and create virtual switch. Now we're going to give it a name VLAN zero. You can call it whatever you want. Just remember which ones to use and you have two options here. You can either use Wi-Fi or your uh, LAN connection, your cable. I'm going to use the cable, click apply, click yes. It's going to take a few seconds for this whole process and then we click OK. That's it, finished. Now we can create our virtual machine with the Home Assistant operating system. On the right side just click new, virtual machine next let's name the virtual machine HA from home assistant I'm not gonna store the virtual machine in the standard location I'm gonna I'm have I'm gonna have a folder on the C drive virtual machines select folder next you can save it wherever you like we're gonna use the generation 2 we're gonna click next and I'm gonna leave it as it is. If you want, you can use less. I don't think you need four gigs of uh, RAM for the Home Assistant to run. Next, let's connect the VLAN zero switch we created earlier. This is an important ste step. We don't need to create a new virtual hard disk. We have already downloaded the one with the Home Assistant operating system on it. So just go for use an existing virtual hard disk, browse, and we go to the downloads folder where we downloaded it earlier. Click on it, open and click next. And now it finish. The virtual machine is ready, but before starting it, we need to do a few settings. Go to the security and disable enable secure boot. Apply, okay. And I think that's about it, it should work. Right click connect start home assistant will start loading it's a process that will take a little bit of time but i'm gonna come back when it's finished okay so it's finished this is the screen you're gonna get you need to type in let's click here login and then you're gonna type n m c l i and if you notice here where is the inet4 you're gonna get an IP address you're gonna use this IP address in a browser let's make it smaller to see them both and then 192.168.68.90 but we're not gonna use the 24 we're gonna use 8123 that's the port for from home assistant click enter and you got home assistant all set up you need to start creating your account. I'm going to do a video on how to start up with Home Assistant in my future videos. Thanks for watching and hope you'll come back on the next videos. Thank you.